What is up everyone? I am Bishop Brawler and you are watching the third episode of the Pokemon Showdown series. As you can see, we're not doing Monotype. It's the first time I'm not doing Monotype. It's my favorite me other meta, but this time we're playing the other meta of the month for Ju June 2016. Um, this, is, this other meta is called Got Talent and it's very, very interesting. What it does is it uses contest stats. It sounds really weird, but let me explain. Every move in Pokemon, it has a certain contest type, that like this. Um, there is cool, tough, beautiful, clever, and cute. These types, uh, these contest types, all correspond to a certain stat of the Pokemon. Like, uh, it's cool corresponds to attack, tough to defense, be beautiful to special attack, clever to special defense, and... Uh, cute to speed. Right, that's the way it works. Now what this meta does is that, for example, if you were to use a, let's say, a, a cool move, it will hit, it will use the attack stat to calculate the damage. Whether it's physical or special, it will always use the attack stat instead of special attack. Right, always. That's not the most interesting part though. The more interesting part is when you use a tough or a clever or a cute move. Because a tough move is corresponds with defense, so it will use your defense stat instead of your attack or special attack stat. That is what this meta is all about. Um, you use your defensive stats or your speed stats for some Pokemon to calculate the damage of moves. It means that everything is very bulky, but everything also hits very hard and it's very, very fun. Now, the bad part about it is a lot of Pokemon lose a part of moves from their moveset. For example, my Zygarde, as you can see, it's a physically defensive Pokemon, so I want to use things that hit from physical defense. Except Outrage, Dragon Claw, Extreme Speed, all hits from attack, and so I have decided not to use those. But you'll see what happens here. The first Pokemon on my team is Mega Aggron. Mega Aggron is a top tier Pokemon in God Talent. Why? Heavy Slam is a tough move. Earthquake is a tough move. Both of them hit from defense. Mega Aggron, base 230 defense, 614 defense, max invested. That is ridiculous. Absolutely insane. This thing hits so hard, there are so few things to want to switch into it. Especially after an Iron Defense, because Iron Defense works as Swords Dance. Keep that in mind. It boosts defense so you hit harder. It's really fun. Stealth Rock is on there, essentially a filler. There were no other moves that I really wanted on it, so I went with this. Stone Edge is very possible as a move there instead of Stealth Rock. Might do that. Stealth Rock hasn't really done too much for me. I like this. I like it for now though. Usually what I try to do is just come in with this eventually. Set up an Iron Defense and just win with Heavy Slam really. It's 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 such a good Pokemon. Um, after Mega Evolution it doesn't go down easily to even to Super Effective Moves because of Filter. It's really good. It has a sturdy pre-Mega. It's just it's such a good Pokemon in this, in this meta. Normally it's, it's okay. It's not amazing because of simply... Terrible special defense, pretty much. It can If you just hit it hard with like a, a Fire Blast or an Earth Power, it will go down. All right, that. but but here it's amazing. My next Pokemon is Mandibuzz. Special defense, specially defensive Mandibuzz. A lot of dark type moves hit from special defense. A lot. Foul play, well, foul play still use the opponent's attack set, so that doesn't really count. But knock off. Hits from special defense. Sucker Punch hits from special defense. Um, Pursuit hits from special defense. Pretty much every main stab move from special defense hits uh, for dark types hits from special defense. So that's why I use Mandibuzz. Knock off hits really hard coming from 317 base, spe uh, base special defense. Uh, yeah, apart from that, it's just a really bulky Pokemon. It's kind of stally. I used this in my hazard removal, that's the major reason why it's there. This used to be an Amnesia Sweeping Scrafty with a low sweep, uh, knockoff and Zen Hatbot, I believe. It didn't work though, so I got rid of it for Mandibuzz. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Nothing, not really anything more to say about this. It's a pretty standard Mandibuzz set. Uh, lots of Mandibuzz use this set, even in, um, even in regular play. But this time it hits way harder than usual. Alright, on to the next one. Sylveon. Hyper Voice is special attack. You don't want to use special attack on Sylveon. I'm sorry, you don't. It sounds really weird. You don't. Because, yes, 110 special attack is great. 
130 special defense is better. So instead, I use Pixelate's secret power. Secret power is a physical move that hits from special defense. It will still hit the opponent for, for def defense, physical defense, not special defense, which is nice. Another special defense of bulky Pokemon that is kind of there to stall out your opponent, but hits way harder. Secret power has the paralysis chance, which is nice. Uh, leftovers is there, for pretty basic. Once again, pretty basic set. Uh, this thing hits decently hard, but it's not as good as something like Mega Aggron or the Pokemon that's coming up now is Zygarde. Zygarde has swept for me so many times already. Physically defensive, Earthquake, Dragon Tail, Sludge Wave, all hits from defense. Sludge Wave hits from defense. It's a special move, but hits from defense, which is really cool. I have seriously caught off guard certain a lot of fairies with this. It's really fun to use. So, what does this do? There are a lot of set of Pokemon in this meta because so many Pokemon get Amnesia or I'm in Defense or Agility or useless moves like that normally. That become really good here because they work as a Sword Stance. This thing sadly doesn't, so I have to use Coil um, as my defense boosting move, but this is fine, really. Another Leftovers. Leftovers are very common in this thing. I'm pretty sure all my Pokemon, except for Mega Aggron, have leftovers. Um, but yeah, this thing sets up a coil and you start dragon tailing around, sometimes sludge waving or earthquaking if, it, if I'm gonna knock out it out anyway. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, yes. Earthquake is a stab, is the major stab move. Dragon tail is used very often as well to just shuffle around for if, they, if you're scared of standing up. Mega, it's a great counter to Mega Slower because Mega Slower comes in, Mega Evolves, sets up an Iron Defense, you send them back out in, back out immediately. It's gone. So many set of Pokemon get shuffled around to this. No one ever expects it for some reason. Yeah, that's amazing. Barbarical. I have never once seen anyone use a Barbarical in this meta except for me. Barbar Barbarical has 115 base defense, which is nice. Right, it's, it's not amazing, but it's nice. Actually, this is the wrong set. This needs to be Sniper. And this needs to be Scald. Hits harder. Scald hits from Defense. This used to be a Blastoise with Iron Defense, Body Slam, Rapid Spin, Scald. Uh, but when I got Mandibus, I already had a Hazard Removal, so I went for Barbarical. Stone Edge hits from Defense. Earthquake hits from Defense. Scald hits from Defense. Amazing! Iron Defense it up. It is super bulky, it hits super hard, if you crit it, something dies because of Sniper, but you're not going to crit all that often, you don't really need to crit, to be honest. Amazing Pokemon, get the 30% chance for burning even with the Skull, it's still hitting really hard. It's really weird, you don't really have to switch this, because physical uh, walls get hit hard by Skull, special walls hit, get hit hard by Stone Edge, and EQ is there for general coverage. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. And then the final Pokemon... A very good Pokemon, once again, especially defensive for Celia. Psychic Shadow Ball, Moonlight, Calm Mind. Doesn't get Amnesia, so I had to go for Calm Mind. Uh, Moonlight's there for recovery. Psychic Shadow Ball, nice coverage. Steel types kind of wallet, but that's fine. Really no problem. Um, anything else I need to say about? Oh yeah, uh, this uses the OU ban list. With the exceptions of Shuckle being banned and Aegislash being unbanned. That is, that's something you need to keep in mind. That's about it. I'm gonna go in. I'll, I'm gonna go into the first match now, and I will see you guys there. Oh, so, time for the first battle of today. All right, we're facing Ferrothorn, Steelix, Blastoise, Volcanion, Cinchino, and uh, Volcarona. Cinchino will most definitely be speed. Uh, Volcanion will most likely be special attack. Volcarona will also be special attack, and the other three are physical defense, most likely. All right. Uh, I need to check out what I'm going to do here. Uh, Agron doesn't have too much use because it has two special hitters that are fire type. Zygarde could be really good here because he hits most things. I th Do I want to lead Mandibuzz? I think I want to lead Mandibuzz. I'm going to lead Mandibuzz. I think Mandibuzz has a decent matchup against everything on his team. I'm going to knock off here for free. I have, I'm especially defensive. I don't think this can really do too much to me. Uh, knock off gives... Gets rid of... Oh no! Oh, actually the burn doesn't really matter. A Sash? Does he think he can straight up sweep with this thing? Because I think he's wrong. I don't even think he can knock out Mandibus in one hit, to be honest. And I can knock out him next. Next turn. The burn is not that bad, because knockoff now hits from special defense and not from physical attack. What? 
What? It did. Wow, that did nothing. That's bad. Uh, my switch into this thing would be this. What does he carry? He usually carries Fiery Dance, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain. Yeah, I'm. I don't get it. That burn shouldn't affect my knockoff. Why would you go for fire? I wanted the special attack. See the damage? I don't take damage from that. I can wish. No, I'm just gonna secret power. He does a switch into secret power. I could wish. Knowing that he doesn't have much to do to me, but if he does, he can 3 hit kill me with fire dance. So if he just goes for it again now. Yeah, I have to go for secret power there. Yeah, okay. That's a full corona down at least. I definitely think Zygarde can sweep here, if I can get him uh, set up with one or two coils. Here comes this thing. I think I'm gonna sack off Sylveon here, it's not that useful this game. I'm gonna press Wish to see if I get it off. Nope. Nope, not happening. Nope. Right, into Aggron we go. Uh, is it time to set up an Iron Event or is it just time to press Heavy Slam? I think it's time to just... Oh, actually, I should probably press Earthquake. Since you know it's free as a duck. I think. Heavy Slam does a ton of damage to this thing and will knock it out for sure. But EQ though, EQ hits everything. I'm gonna EQ. He stayed in, fuck. Mud Slap? Like for real, Mud Slap? Okay. That's just, that. That's most certainly unique. Pro that see that is this that 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 that's why I don't use speed. Speed gets no moves. <laughs> like, it just doesn't. I'm gonna set an iron defense on this thing. I know for a fact this thing doesn't do jack shit. It doesn't do anything to me. Earth power. Oh, earth power? God damn it, he gets a special attack drop. I am just gonna EQ. As long as I don't miss. Sturdy, alright. Bring it down there. What's another earth power? Oh, I can take it. Nice. And just press EQ again. I missed. God damn it, I missed. Doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna go into Zygarde, set up a coil, and try to win. Pretty much. I think it's possible at this point. Uh, like, this thing doesn't really take too many EQs anymore after. Oh, you dragon tilt me out of there. Okay, I'll finish you off with the Mandibus then. That's fine by me. I feel like I could roost up as well. What can he do? He can't do anything. I'm gonna roost. Get some HP back. He dragon tilt again. See, I gain back HP from that. I'll take that. Like, now. I'm gonna EQ and knock out this um, Steelix. So I gained some HP from that on the Manibus, which is nice. So that's good. Uh, I don't know what's coming now. Blastoise? Yeah, Blastoise. Okay. A Scald is coming. I guarantee you Scald is coming. That means either Manibus or Cresselia has my switch. It's probably Manibus because Manibus is already burned and can then go for a knockoff. I'm not sure if I outspeed though. I'm just gonna go into Manibus. If I have to, I'll check it all. Oh, that's a Mega Blastoise. Oh, well, that, that actually does make sense. Well, oh. I have to roost again, otherwise, I go down. And then I can go for the Toxic next turn. Start putting this thing down. And then afterwards, I'll probably go into Cresselia. I hit it, hit it with Psychic. Uh, it didn't. Okay. I'm just gonna knock off then. I'm just gonna click knock off here again. I'm just, I don't know why the burn affects knock off. I don't get that. But it does, yeah, the Rocky Helmet, I figured. But it's gone now at least. Oh, I can defog this away immediately. Cool. Cool, 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 cool beans, cool beans. Acid spray. Uh, he's gonna. He's just gonna slowly kill me here. Uh, let me see. How much? Uh, I have. I have my. Uh, yeah, I still have my leftovers, so I can just go for knock another, another knockoff. Oh, I flash camp me. Fine, fine. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. I should could go into crest, but I'm. I don't know what flash can. Would that be tough? I think it's tough. Like this thing is all specially defensive, as as I can see. Both his moves are special attack, uh, specially offensive moves. I'm gonna wait. Acid spray is gonna lower my special defense, so I'm gonna hit less hard. That is super annoying. Fuck that shit, man. Why? This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work in my favor at all. 
Okay, I'm gonna set up a coil. He cannot do hurt this thing. Set up a coil, go for the earthquake, and try and win. Actually, I won't win because of Blastoise. Blastoise is scary, scary for Zygarde. EQ here. <sighs> Didn't knock it out. No, wait! That rule. Oh, I thought I was gonna live. Uh... <laughs> Blastoise is an issue. He should go down to this EQ though. He really should go down to this EQ. God damn it! So close every time. So lucky. Like this thing uh, should have gone down like five times already. God damn it. I don't get how he lived all those hits. Ah! Oh, god damn it, man. God damn it, man. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Yeah, 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 you're not actually doing... I could just... Once this thing is down, I might, I might try and set up on the... Yeah, but there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. You try to stall him out, I guess. This is a win battle for me, I believe. Don't know how many, actually. He probably still has plenty of Giga Trains left. I'm gonna go for Acid Spray again. He wants to lower my special defense a bit more, I guess. I'm just gonna keep clicking Moonlight. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have gotten an attack from him. Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be it. One more hit from him and it's over. There's Flash Cannon for some reason. Okay. I fucked up. Man. What is he doing? Does he not have Giga Drench anymore? Because if he doesn't. He does. Why didn't he go for that like five turns ago? Oh, he did go for it five turns ago, but you know what I mean. Well, we lost the first one. All right, we're just gonna go. Into, we're gonna forget this one. We're gonna go into the next one. I'll see you guys there. And here we go again. Uh, we're facing Altaria, Sceptile, Ninjask, Sigilyph, Milotic, and Ferrothorn. Sceptile is speed, Ninja is speed, I don't know what Mega Altaria is. I know it's top tier, I just don't know what it is. Sigilyph, I don't know either. Uh, Milotic is probably special defense. Ferrothorn might be physical defense or special defense, just like the one last time. I think I'm gonna lead with Mandibuzz and just knock off turn one. Oh, that's a good matchup. Nice. I can go for a free knockoff hit, knock off something, something's item here. Like he, there's, he's probably not staying in, but unless he comes in with this Altaria. It's Mega Altaria. I'm assuming it to be Mega Altaria because like running a regular Altaria doesn't make too much sense. Okay, knock off. I'll take the 25 damage. I'm gonna... Ah, shit. It, it's gonna become a fairy type now. Agwan shoot wall Mega Altaria very well, right? When EQ is kind of scary, but... Oh, I did not actually... I forgot. Cotton Guard. That is why it's good, of course. And now it's gonna go for the like I or I have so much defense though. Is it really gonna do that much damage to me? Come on. Alright, that that's decent. That's decent. I can take another one. And I can go for the heavy slam. They should do a lot of damage. Altaria doesn't have the best base defense. I this is at plus six now though. Yes! Nice! See, that is why Mega Aggron is so good. Just at plus six and still doing that much damage with Heavy Slam. Right, uh, I probably should switch out here. How much use do you have? Decent amount of use. I'm scared of first setting up. I'm just gonna go for the EQ. Heavy Slam is resistant, so it's resisted, so EQ will do more. Uh, she's, he's also faster. Uh, that's a physically defensive my Lalic then. Oh shit! Agron, you are amazing. Yeah, it's 1228 defense. It's such an insane Pokemon. That's one iron defense. I probably had higher defense than the Altaria I just did with the plus six, to be honest. Like, Agron does just so much damage. It's already knocked out two Pokemon for free. And Manibus is still a four, right? Yeah, it is. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Only Agron is, has taken damage so far, and he's knocked out two Pokemon. Sigilyph comes in. I'm gonna go for another heavy slam. Like, Sigilyph will most likely knock me out, but at 70%, Agron is not that useful anymore. So I'm just gonna sack it off. Go into Mandibus. Press knockoff again. Knock something item off. 
Um, like, his only real switch into Aggron's Heavy Slime is Ferrothorn. And he hasn't gone into that yet. And it's gone. That's three, po three kills for Mega Aggron. This is what I want to see. This is what happens so often in this tier, in this uh, other meta, because of so many setup Pokemon. It's happened, it happened against me last time, and it's happening for me this time. And he forfeits. I understand that. Like, even if he would have knocked out Mega Aggron here with the Sceptile, probably Grasnard or something, I could have gone into Mandibus, knocked something off. Like, he, he couldn't deal with this Mega Aggron anymore. Uh, it would have cost him too much, and that's, that's the reason. But okay, I'm gonna go into the next match, and I'll see you guys there. And here we go, the final match of today, unless we get a, like, turn 2 forfeit. Um, we're playing Ninja, Skarmory, Darmanitan, Mega Metagross most likely, or Mega Glade, and Laron? Why not use Agron? Pretty sure Agron has higher defense, even with an Eviolite. Okay. I don't give a shit. I can... Like... Darmanitan seems scary for Mega Aggron, but he, because he's physical, I think I can take his hits. And retaliate with an EQ, so I'm gonna go with Aggron immediately. He let his Darmanitan, I'm fine with that, I'm gonna go for an EQ. I... Oh, focus... He's special? Okay, I'm screwed. No, I'm not. That's really sad that Mega Aggron goes down, but I still have the Zygarde to set up. Uh, I can press Psychic here, I can get... Okay, I should should press Shadow Ball here because this thing is weak to Shadow Ball. This thing is weak to Shadow Ball. This thing doesn't resist Shadow Ball. This thing doesn't resist Shadow Ball. I have to press Shadow Ball, man. I hope he switches. Otherwise, I made a mistake. Okay, this should still do dice damage. Ah, it's decent. Uh, now, what's coming? Focus Blast definitely not coming. Flare Blast might be coming, which would mean this thing is the best switching. I'm just gonna risk it. Yep, yep. Predicted. Predicted. Nice, nice. Okay, so Focus Blast is coming. Now, I just have to kind of try and wear him down. Uh, I could go into Mandibus, actually. Mandibus should be able to take any hit. Like, there has to be some... I don't want to sack off Mandibus yet, because of Dark being so good against his team. I think I'm going to go into Cresselia, sack this thing off now. I don't really know what to do, man. This thing hits so hard. I, I had to sack it off. Oh shit, he didn't, he didn't even knock himself out. The only thing I can do here is go into Zygarde and just Dragon Tail. Oh, okay. Hi Skarmory. Goodbye Skarmory. A rocky helmet, huh? <laughs> Hi Darmanitan. How have you been, buddy? Dragon Tail again. Oh, he missed his focus plan. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Darmanitan is gone at least. Zygarde's in. Is walled really badly by Skarmory, so I have to get rid of this thing before I uh, can sweep of Zygarde. Barbaric can hit it pretty hard though with his uh, Sculpt. Galate comes out. Galate. Um, I can Dragon Tail here. Or I can Coil. What's uh, Galate gonna do? He's gonna be physical attack. He has to be physical attack because he's so frail. <sighs> I don't really know. I think. I... Would he Sword Stance? Knowing I have Dragon Tail, he wouldn't Sword Stance. I can EQ. Try and knock him out. I'm just gonna EQ. Wait, it's Mega Metagross, not Mega. It's specially defensive Mega Galate. It's specially defensive Galate. I thought he was gonna Mega Evolve. Honestly, surprises me. Okay, I can't sweep with this thing either way yet, so I'm just gonna keep. Uh, I need I need to wait with doing all too much with this thing until I can. Um, until the Skarmory is gone. How do I get rid of Skarmory? Barbarical, most likely. Metagross is scary. Because like, this is my physically defensive Pokemon, but EQ is way too scary to switch that in right now. I'm gonna EQ though. He went for the iron defense. Ah, that didn't do shit. I think... I want to get into Mandibuzz. I really want to get to Mandibuzz. Because Mandibuzz can actually take hits from this thing. Ah, he's gonna go Iron Head, knock me out. Yeah. I don't like losing Zygarde here, but Barbaricon can do things. So, shouldn't be too bad. Like, knockoff? I don't really know if I can win this, man. This Mandagro is very scary. Losing Mega Aggron early with there was a, was a mistake. I didn't expect... Oh, wait, wait. Wait, what? Aha. Then, no. No, please don't. Um, 
uh, 80 with stab is 120. This is super effective. This does more damage. I can take that. I didn't knock him out. Shit. I should have scalded because he has the defense boost. I'm so stupid. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, Sylveon is not taking this thing on. Unless he somehow like misses Iron Head or something. I know. It's GG. That's fine on me. All right. That was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this meta. I really hope you guys start playing it as well because it's really fun to play. A lot of setup, a lot of sweeps. It's really fun to watch and really fun to play. I love it so much. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.